Hey guys, it's me, Linda Lee, reporting for Kids First, and today I'm here in Hollywood for the red carpet world premiere of the latest Disney Plus movie, Stargirl. Stargirl is a sweet and unusual coming-of-age story based on the critically acclaimed New York Times best-selling young adult novel about an unassuming high schooler who finds himself strangely drawn to the free-spirited new girl, whose not-so-normal ways change how they see themselves and their world. The cast is headed down the carpet, so come on, let's go chat with them. spoke you had done the song for Wonder Park <laughs> and <laughs> and now you're in a movie and you also sing in it uh, so how much fun was it to do both <laughs> it was very very fun um, the whole experience was very fun it's a very good movie um, it was wonderful. It was so. It was really, really a special project. It was really fun. So I've heard that doing this movie like changed your life. So can you tell us what changed for you and how it was affected? I think I grew up a lot while uh, filming this movie, and I made a lot of great friends. And I definitely left with an incredible experience that I never forget. So now that you've done Stargirl, do you think that you will continue with singing and touring or will you focus more on acting or like do both? I love singing and I love touring and I'll definitely focus on that. Tell us about the challenges of your character Leo in Stargirl and some of the struggles he goes through in this movie. Yeah, absolutely. It's a lot. Of, he deals with a lot of things that most people, if not everyone, goes through at some point. You know, the pressures of trying to fit in uh, when, you know, if you're yourself, you might not. You just try and be yourself. So that's something he kind of he kind of gives up really early, and he just gives up a lot of those special parts of himself just to make sure that nobody makes fun of him, right? Uh, and he needs someone like Stargirl to teach him that it's okay to be himself. So who do you play in this movie? So I play Kevin Singh, who is Leo Burlock's best friend, um, and he is a host of Hot Seat. What's the message that families can take away from Stargirl? I think what they can take away from Stargirl is to be fearless when it comes to being yourself. And I know that's kind of cheesy, but that's what we really tried to put through in this film and really enforce that message in this day and age. Action. Hi. Hi, nice to meet you. I like your mud frog colors. Thank you. I didn't even know that those were the colors, so I just came and I was like, yay. Well, so you directed this movie. So what was it like turning this amazing book into a movie? It was really cool. Um, it was really fun getting to um, to take a story that was already so beloved and try to find a new way to tell it on screen. And the way that we decided to do that was by adding musical numbers, which is something you can't have in a book. So it was really fun to get to tell Stargirl's story even more through song than it is in the book. Happy birthday to you. This movie is about believing in yourself and like not giving up on your dreams. So what is like something that you believed in so much? I really believe in me in the pursuit of purpose. And I believe that every single person has a purpose. And I, I really pursue mine, which I believe to be using my my talents to help right now young kids. I really like that. That's something that I pursue daily. Hi, nice to Hi. meet you. Nice I'm to Linda meet you. Lee. What's your name? Linda Lee. Linda Lee, John. Nice, nice to, to meet you. you. <laughs> so, who do you play in this movie? I play the role of Wayne. And Wayne is uh, kind of like the high school symbol of conformity. <laughs> He's kind of like the, the crowd like would follow him to like try to be cool. So what was the experience of working on a Disney movie? Amazing. It was amazing. I think we really got lucky because the cast and the crew, we, we bonded so well. And we, there was just such like a really cool air of like collaboration and everyone was just like in it to make like the best possible story that we could and it was it was great that's cool yeah nice well thank you so much for talking thank you. to me good job so who do you play in this movie i play tess in the movie so what are some fun memories that you had during the filming of the movie 
Honestly, one of my fondest memories from the movie is when we filmed the dance scene because, like, A, that took, like, a couple of days to do. Uh, B, we had to learn choreography from Mandy Moore, who is, like, one of the, uh, like, choreographers from So You Think You Can Dance. And my, one of my dreams was, like, being on that show. So it was, like, pseudo dreams come true, you know? Like, I was just like, I get to be choreographed by Mandy Moore? Oh, my God. So who do you play in this movie? I play Adam Furco in the movie, and he's a... Uh, um, He's the bass drummer in the marching band with Leo. What was it like being on this Disney set? Um, <laughs> it was a fun experience. Everyone is nice, everyone is super awesome and funny. We created a nice bond and became like a nice family with everyone on set. Hi. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So who do you play in this movie? So I play Benny and he's one of the friends of the main character, Leo. And the kind of interesting thing about my character is that he's obsessed with food. So in almost every scene, I've either got like a hot dog or at like lunch when everyone's got one tray of food, I have three and I'll be eating a burrito or popcorn or something like that. And that's kind of my character's thing. That's my favorite type of like character in movies. Exactly, like, yeah. I'm a Taurus, so like I like food a lot. <laughs> <laughs> what was it like being on a set of a Disney movie? It was honestly a dream come true. I mean, I've been growing up watching Disney my whole life and just to finally be a part of the Disney world is so awesome, especially just being a kid and growing up with Disney. And then to be like, hey, I'm part of the Disney world now. It's really, really cool. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for talking yeah, to me. Thank you. Hi, Enzo. Um, so what were like the challenges of playing young Leo? Uh, well, the challenges were in the most emotional scenes, getting into that character and like feeling those feelings that he really felt. So this movie is about being yourself and following your heart. So what is something that you did that you believed in so strongly? Well, moving to a new school, I moved to a new school, and um, something I really strongly believed in was just kind of being friends with everyone and getting close relationships with everyone, and so far it's been working out, so. Cool. So who do you play in this movie? I play Zach in Stargirl. Um, I am the uh, jock of the high school, the quarterback, um, you know, the guy that's just always, you, anything sports related you're going to see me, but he is the guy that ends up learning um, what life is all about, what life truly is to be around people that are extraordinary like Stargirl, um, and it's so important to like for people like jocks, and as they say in you know high school for jocks and the people that are not really ordinary in their eyes uh, to be a part of each other, but to, you find out you don't judge book by its cover because you tend to realize who people truly are that way. <laughs> My gosh, that was beautiful. <laughs> Well, that's going to do it for me from the red carpet of Disney Plus's latest movie, Stargirl. Catch it when it debuts on Disney Plus on Friday, March 13th, 2020. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe. And check out some of the other TV and movie related interviews and reviews from my fellow Kids First reporters. From Hollywood, California, reporting for Kids First, I'm Linda Lee. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!